Hello everyone, this is Brenniger. If you want your tropical fishes to be in their best condition for breeding, the best way to ensure this is to offer them live foods. I culture Daphnia magna and blackworms, Lupercoolis variegatus. So I'd like to give you a closer look at these cultures. The Daphnia are in the water column of these cultures and the black worms are in the substrate of brown paper. So I want to take a brine shrimp net and strain off the water column containing the daphnia. Now I take this mesh and strain the substrate through it. Now there's a lot of detritus in the substrate from the black worms. So to rinse that off, I'll spray that. Cold water doesn't hurt the black worms. Just in case I catch any black worms, I see any. Now the substrate into this plastic container. Now here is the infusoria I've been culturing. Culture that with used aquarium water, lettuce, and alfalfa pellets. At this point, I can use a turkey baster to catch black worms to feed to my fish. Now that I've caught the black worms, I put the detritus containing the remaining black worms along with the water containing infusoria back into the culturing jar. And there were a few remaining Daphnia. There's a piece of lettuce. I don't want to get Daphnia in the infusoria culturing jars, so put that in here. A bit of infusoria might culture in the Daphnia culture. Make sure there are plenty of Daphnia in here. So this water should be full of infusoria and black worms and daphnia and I'll put them back in the culturing station. Here is the culture with green water for the daphnia to enjoy and propagate. Now I can hang the brine shrimp net in the tank and my pets can go after them. They really appreciate live foods. Here's some black worms for butterfly. He really enjoys those.
That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon on the next one.